Hi guys, this is Andy again and I'm recording this video because many of you asked how to set up GSA campaign to your blogs. So here we go. What do I have here? I have Keyword Map Pro and I have my keywords. So basically I've done my research of relevant keywords. All I need to do is copy them uh, and drop them into Notepad. And one more th keyword that I know I'm looking for is halting for, from China to Australia. There we go. So this is one thing we need for GSA. The second thing we need is to spin this whole deal up. And bear with me, I'll do it. <laughs> okay, there we go. Basically, I'm putting it to spin tax. Um, there aren't too many keywords that I'm interested in at this moment, so I'll do it uh, manually. So, just wait a second. I'll explain later where all this comes in. Okay, a couple more left. And we're done. Okay, this we need this for anchor texts. We need this for finding relevant sites. So I've, d I've done with my keyword map pro, and basically I'm back to GSA. And I'll start a new project and we'll enter the name. So basically, what do I want? I don't want exploit. I want articles, I want blog comments, I want directories, I want forums. I don't really want guest books, uh, image comments, not really, indexer, not really, microblog, ping back, probably, social bookmark, social network, not video, web 2.0, wikis. That's what I'm going through. And uh, the next thing that I'm doing, as you can see, it's running on my uh, work machine. I'm adding URL and anchor text. There you go. So I have prepared a list of uh, URLs here that I'm interested in. I'm taking this is the blog with the important articles. I'm copying, entering, and anchor text. As you can see, it is asking you can put in their spin text. So this is where this thingy comes into. There we go. This is the first one. Edit and repeat, rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat. Let me go and put that one in, and also the spin tax. and couple more. Okay, we're done with that. Now we need to import. Uh, keep no. Uh, okay, let me tell you this. I'll use URL variation in twenty percent. Yeah, this is this is a good thing to do. It will just randomize your links. Now I need keywords. So and here are my keywords. And tool import from clipboard import thirteen keywords. Okay. We do use uh, ch check this one to collect keywords from target sites and check back in a few days. You will find that it's it will be quite useful. Um, and this is the important part. I would probably want to use an about 33% generic anchors, domain probably 40%, and anchor variations. That's what I'm doing. So now we need an article. 
Okay, what I'm what I'm doing with an article is I'm actually taking the blog post, the one that I have here. It's nothing much, it's 386 words, but that's more than enough. Just pasting it here. And I will remove one anchor text. I will go with just one. I will go with just one generic anchor because I'm building links back to the blog and the article has already the anchor. Okay, now we need article title. We'll put that there. Article summary, probably. this category I'm adding uh, using mask uh, business, uh, business category will, will be there and maybe everything that's related to market I don't know good thing is adding this one oh, did I do that right? yeah, I did it right ok so, done with that the blog comment I'm leaving default uh, website title what's our website? business tips and advice website description. I'm just picking up the one that I have. So, no, nothing in German, nothing in Polish. I'm just using disable engines that uses that. There you go. That's pretty much it. Now let's go over to the options. What I want I want about 200 submissions, plus minus maybe 50, and then pause it for 2 hours. Uh, ask services to fill captures, customer try 5 times, that's ok. Um, verified links must have exact URL, and I leave it to automatic verification, I don't bother. Uh, I have a GSA SEO indexer, so I'm, I will be using that use character spinning when possible uh, nah, not, not really 3% that should be enough ok, search engines actually I have uh, I have had there that one. You can actually download this from the forum, we have it, I'll just go through it and probably will remove something, some duplicate ones or the ones that I don't like. Oh, joy. It's freezing up. There we go. Ah, we don't need Bing clone. The one Bing is enough. Basically, leave it to the big ones, Yahoo and Google and Bing, that's about it. Because the rest of them, they are just sharing, most of them are sharing results. They won't provide you with the brand new information, and it's kind of a pointless. Yeah, we have Google, now we'll have tons of Google. Let's go quickly over that one. Hotbot we can leave. 
believe uh, in for calm we can yeah we can keep that one we don't need google search api clone why would we yeah msn i think that's pretty much it and yahoo at the bottom skycom google search api clone why it's pointless just duplicate results okay almost there you can export this list and save it uh, do with it whatever you want okay just yahoo left cool now since this is since this is these are the blogs on the network we don't want to bother too much about quality so i will skip sites with uh, more than 200 outbound links and i will skip sites with the pr below zero and i will skip also sp uh, sites with the unknown pr well there's nothing wrong with no follow links that that should keep your uh, link profile natural, more natural looking. So don't check. I don't check that usually. And uh, well, in this case, it wouldn't matter. Well, this is interesting. Uh, it will actually post to wikis. So let's leave that. Well, this is a good one to have. We can add Cialis. I think we can add Viagra. It's not there already. Um, I don't gay dating camps. No, that's about it. The only thing I need now is to create an email and start it up. So there you go. As you can see, that's how I go about creating projects for for the my network blogs we can press on the test and see how it will look that yeah, shows you that yeah, looks it looks good okay so as you can see in 12 minutes we managed to create a project that will run and run and run and run the only thing that you should do actually is uh, when it's when it's been running for like days uh, check the new keywords open up the the project to edit and uh, check the new keywords because uh, some of them will be quite relevant to you uh, to your urls and you can actually add them to your <coughs> you can add them to here to anchors and it might help so yeah let it keep it as I imports so now I all I need is to set up an email yeah guys been fun well, let me know if you need any help